What's going on everybody? Welcome back to episode of G4 Outdoors. Today we are in Grove, Oklahoma on Grand Lake. Again, yearly fishing trip. Fish just started popping off the white bass, so hopefully uh, they'll stay a little active. Let me show you what I got. Let me show you what I got. Uh, look, at that, look at this big dog. Anyway, fishing has been super good and we're gonna get on some white bass tonight. So stick around, hope you enjoy the video. Well, here's a little story about two friends that came together and we started up a YouTube just to talk about whatever. We're on a boat catching big bass and smashing them cats from review videos to just making you laugh. Cause we got guns, we got knives, we got fishing, we got hunting, we got everything you like. So hit that subscribe button. We're in the outdoors doing things that we love. We're talking guitars, girls, green grass and guns. Of course, we got Brother Bud and Papa Steve. Okay, if you're still here, white bass fishing when they're blowing up is some of the absolute funnest fishing that you can do. There's, there's no effort to it. You just throw your lure out there, reel it back in. White bass are some extremely fun fish to catch. Uh, you can catch a little eight incher and it's, it's a heck of a fight. It's a lot of fun. Favorite lures for white bass is definitely going to be the road runners. Uh, I don't have a, pre I do have a preference in color. It's going to be the white and black polka dotted one, but I, I do like these uh, different colored ones here. Andy's on, Andy's on. His rod tip's not bent too bad, but he's got a lot of line out. The fish is taking you places though, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't have your rod tip in there. Yeah. See, that's a little bitty white bass and the, uh, they just fight so hard, I love them. So Andy's running chartreuse, obviously. Chartreuse and gold. And catch you guys up on why this is such a good spot for white bass. If you can see behind me here, there's a cove right here, there's a, a small cove right here wouldn't really consider that a cove but all of this area right here is actually indented in or away from the lake so we do have just a cutout from the banks and a cove all along here so what happens is all of the shad that are gathered up out here the white bass will start pushing them up to the bank and into these pockets to where they can't escape so that's why this is a really good spot for white bass. A really good place to run the bait up in there. They can't come back out. And actually when we're catching these guys, we're running three to four feet of water. So they just push them, keep on pushing, keep on pushing until they can't push anymore. Okay, we spotted some out in front here, just a little bit. And they're not going crazy right now, but guys, give it a second and you'll see just some amazing action. Sorry, I'm shooting into the sun. I don't have a choice right now. Peel and drag off of there, and I want you to see, it could be a big one, but more than likely it's a decent one. Just great fighters, great fighters. Yeah, he's a chunk. But as you can see, I mean, he is big, but he's not gargantuan, and the fight that these guys put out is incredible. I mean, it doesn't look big, but comparatively, that's a 
pretty doggone big fish. He's got a bunch of hooks in his jowl. My mic is broke, but they are definitely starting to pop off right here. You can see Andy just threw a lure out there. One, two, three, four, five. Missed the pile. He has, he'll have to throw out to another one. And what I'll actually do is take the trolling motor and get over here to them. And I don't know if you can see the disturbed water or not, but I'm telling you, they're just all through right over here. All the way up to the front of that boat right there, but they're just all over in here. And just like that, three days later, did we even catch 20 fish? I don't think so. It just turned off on us. So, uh, video got shot out of the water on that one. I did wind up getting a five pound, no, uh, let's go eight pound flathead on ultralight tackle fishing for crappie. That was a blast. And of course, didn't have time to get the camera out on that. But anyways, guys, just a short video. I hope you enjoyed this. Anytime you're able to get out here on Grand Lake. The white bass is amazing. The crappie is amazing. We've had a blast again this year. Hopefully next year we get on them and get some good videos out. Sorry for the uh, short video on this one, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one. Wow. Monday, Monday Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday. Thursday. I just dream of fishing while I'm going through my work day. I listen to my boss, though he's driving me berserk. Eh? Damn it, I can't take much more because my brain is really hurting. And now the bank is always calling and I don't know what to do. And I haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992. But the bass are out there schooling and they're ready to attack. And I got all my favorite.